so not ready. Don't worry. Baby's fed and sleeping. Go back to bed. I'll wake you in 15. Sweet offer. But I don't want to be late for work again. No, 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 I'm up. And you're all set for the 16th. I've got you on the 10 a.m. flight business, but I'm sure they'll bump you up. And sweet B at the Hassler. You're gonna die, I'm telling you. You won't wanna leave. Oh, your World Lounge Pass membership expired? Not to worry, I renewed it. It's okay, you can call me anytime I don't sleep. Just to warn you, some of the soldiers might be a little rattled to have a woman take them through these exercises. Aren't some of the soldiers women? Yes, of course. I just meant... These people just got back from two or three tours of duty in Iraq. I'm not the thing that's going to rattle them. Look, this program is designed to help them adapt to being home. Sit in if you like. So, the baby's sleeping through the night. Why can't I? Does anyone else have this problem? So the trick is, when the alarm goes off, to just take a minute until your brain registers. It's just an ordinary alarm clock before you jump out of bed. Or throw an arm lock on the person sleeping next to you. City Hop, that was me, my brainchild. I was the face of City Hop. Who am I now? You tell me. You know something? I'm done. I'm out of here. We're over. I think you still have issues. Did you read the book? I thought you could give me the cliff notes. I don't approve of cliff notes. Uh -huh. Okay, so I didn't read it either. Baby, husband, work. This is gonna make Abby so sad. She takes our failure so personally. I did one kilometer. Awesome. That's five blocks. It's her first day, show her the love. I, I don't mean to put a damper or anything, but it, it's a mountain. You have us in training to climb a mountain. So, Anna Karenina. When you look at me, what do you see? Be afraid, be very afraid. <laughs> I see a woman with fabulous shoes. I know, they are, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, what would you guess I do for a living? Something very important. I used to walk into a room and know who I was. Everyone knew who I was. Now I'm without an anchor. I'm at sea. I'm rudderless. First, you aren't someone people forget. And second, the ship metaphor. 
not really working for me. I need to rebrand myself. Are we going to talk about the book? You want to talk about the book? That's what we're here for. That's why I never cancel, even when I have a killer audit, and I can't remember why I ever started this club, this book club. And we swore never to turn this into one of those support groups. Well, you're not supporting me, so goal achieved. A couple of years back, I was on this flight to South America. I'm going down to, to speak at a conference, and I'm sitting next to my company CEO who's getting antsy for a drink. So I go to, up to the flight attendant and get a bottle of red in a napkin, which I put over my arm. And I'm wearing a suit, so I look like one of the stews anyway. So I return to my seat, pour my boss a glass, and the two men in back of us call me over to pour them a drink. So what the hell? I do. Next thing, they start hitting on me. Anyway, the night of the big conference dinner, I get up, I'm introduced. I get up to speak, and there they are. They're sitting right down front. Faces are beat red. Oh, I think I might have thrown them a wink. And the point of this is, other than to remind us that you're a babe. Identity. Who do you want to be? It depends on when you ask. Uh, good mom, good lover, maybe just someone who writes something that people read and think, I know just what you mean. I'd love to be the person from our firm who delivers the vote tally at the Oscars. If I can borrow your shoes. Fortune's 50 women to watch. That would be sweet. Pay toilet. High-end pay toilet. On city sidewalks. With artwork and top-of-the-line fixtures. Green, of course, and for the gals. I mean, who needs it more? Okay, I'm over it. Does this mean we can talk about the book? Didn't you love the part where they meet for the first time and then you realize... I think I'm being stalked in cyberspace. I think someone is stalking my blog. 